Now, here are four coaching skills that make good coaches great. Okay, four of them. Now, skill number one is identify blind spots. Now, there are things that you know that you know, that's wisdom. And then there are things that you don't know that you know, okay? That's being ignorant, but still wise to the fact that you, you can learn, you're a student. Uh, there are things that you don't know that you know. I don't mean to confuse you, but follow me along. That's called um, flow. See, when you're so good and you don't know that you know it, right? Then you're in flow. It's like a world-class athlete, but not knowing that you don't know, that's called a blind spot. And we want to get you out of that. And that's why coaching is so important. Skill number two is identify where you're stuck. Okay. Nothing happens until something moves. Who said that? Albert Einstein. Okay. Movement is life. Movement is marketing. Movement is sales. Movement is conversion. If you are stuck, you're not moving. And once you stop moving, you start dying. Once you stop learning, you start dying. That's what Albert Einstein said. So you look for where they're stuck. Okay. And then it would help if I showed you the skill. Skill number three is identify your strengths. So what's a strength? A strength is something that you do, an action or a practice where you feel strong. <laughs> That's a strength. It's where you feel energized. Okay. Well, the fourth skill is weakness. Well, what's a weakness? A weakness is an activity you do that makes you feel weak. Duh, <laughs> right? It makes you feel drained or bored. So the goal is not to strengthen your weaknesses. Otherwise, you'd have strong weaknesses. Again, I'm quoting Dan Sullivan. That's what I've heard from him and I've learned. Uh, he's been a great coach to me. You don't want to strengthen weaknesses. You want to strengthen your strengths and outsource your weaknesses. So with technology, that's a weakness for me. I could probably get good at it, but not great. And it's not the best use of my time for what my purpose is. And so I outsource that to web developers and people who are far better than, than me at it. Now, I, I know the basics, but I don't want to do them. I know all about them.